one factor, also known as GCF, trinomials when a is equal to 1, trinomials when a is greater than 1, quadrinomials by grouping, as well as perfect squares. Let's take a look at the first one, GCF. In this case, we have 25x squared y to the fourth plus 50x cubed y cubed. Let's look at our first term, 25x squared y to the fourth. We are going to factor it. So our first factors we know are 1 and 25, and then 5 and 5. x squared can be factored as 2x's, and y to the fourth as 4y's. Now let's look at our second term, 50x cubed y cubed. Factors of 50 are 1 and 50, 2 and 25, and 5 and 10. x cubed can be rewritten as 3x's being multiplied to each other, and y cubed as 3y's. So now to figure out what our GCF is, we're going to look for the biggest constant. In this case, 25 is the biggest number that goes into both terms. Next, we know that we can take 2x's out of both terms and 3y's out of both terms. So our GCF will be 25x squared y cubed. In order to factor this out properly, we first need to write parentheses. This demonstrates our multiplication from our GCF to our second term. In order to find out what the second expression is, we have to divide our GCF out from our original expression. 25x squared y to the fourth divided by our GCF will give us y. And our second term, 50x cubed y to the third divided by our GCF will give us 2x. So our final answer here is 25x squared y cubed times y plus 2x. That covers greatest common factor. Now let's move on to when trinomials have an A value of one. Here we have the expression x squared plus nine x plus 14. I'm going to demonstrate to you two different methods. The first method being AM. What adds to nine or adds to our B value and multiplies to our C value. Here A is one, B is nine, C is 14. So again, what multiplies to C and adds to B? Here we have our C value of 14. So let's first figure out our factors. Factors are one and 14 and two and seven. Now out of these factors, we wanna know which ones add to our B value of positive nine. One plus 14 gives you 15, so that does not work. But two plus seven does in fact give you nine. So those will be our factors. In factored form now, our expression will be x plus seven times x plus two. Now let's take a look at our second method, which is drawing a table. First, you're going to draw a table and separate it into four areas. The first box being A, then our diagonal boxes being B, and our last box C. Here our A term is x squared, and our C is positive 14. Next, you wanna see what multiplies to C and adds to B. Since we already found out our factors are two and seven, we need to now figure out where to place them in our box. We know that seven has a GCF, seven and 14 have a GCF, so seven X will be paired with 14, and two X will be paired with our X squared. Now let's GCF our first row x squared and 2x have a GCF of x, whereas 7x and 14 have a GCF of 7. Next up you want to do what multiplies by our GCF to get our a value. In this case, x times x will give us our x squared. To double check, we know that 7 times x is 7x, so that works. Next you want to check what your GCF multiplies by in order to get to 2x x times positive 2 will give you your 2x, and 7 times 2 does in fact give you 14. So our final expression here in factored form is once again x plus 7 times x plus 2. 